we'll move on to the main vocal now. I'm gonna mute everything else so you can just hear Kama's main vocal. Cam dog, I'm the waviest, I put faith in her. Yo, look. I shouldn't take codeine when I drive. Make them think someone obese in the ride. Need to wake up feeling like J Huss when I make the whip lean to the side. So as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. It's a pretty straightforward rap verse. So I didn't go too crazy on this at all. But I'm gonna take off everything and show you what each thing does. So first of all, I started with the SSL channel by Waves. Now, just a little caveat here. All of these plugins that I'm using here, uh, they're not necessarily things I still use or still use in the same way, you know. Things evolve and over the last five years, a lot of things have changed in my sort of vocal chain. But this is what I was using at the time. So I wanna show you exactly as it was. I've not changed anything. I've left it exactly as it was from the original mix that's out there on Spotify and YouTube. So this is the SSL channel and I'm not doing a whole lot. I'm pretty much just boosting here at 16K, 15K, just to add some, some kind of shimmer high into the vocal. And then I'm dipping here in the sort of low mids, which is always a good idea on vocals. So without. Cam dog, I'm the waviest, I put faith in a, yo, look. I shouldn't take codeine. I'm with. Cam dog, I'm the waviest, I put faith in a, yo, look. I shouldn't take codeine when I drive. Make them think someone obese in the ride. Need to not doing a whole lot at all, but it's something I always used to put on, on most vocals back then. So, you know. Next thing is the Arvox. Now this is by Waves as well. Used to use this plugin a lot in these days. Um, this is one of the older Waves plugins, but it's a classic. So this is basically a compressor without many controls at all. So it's quite simple, but check out what it's doing. Hey. Need to wake up feeling like J Huss when I make the whip lean to the side. Man, I probably think, yeah, man, he's drunk. Oh shit, that's a speed bump. Watch out for the tree trunk. Make the bass in the Jeep jump. No, we never smoke weed, but. So it's actually hardly doing anything at all. It's literally just bringing the level up a little bit. And sometimes you'll use plugins to do that. So next is the main compressor for this vocal, and that is the R compressor by Waves. Really classic plugin now, one of my favorite vocal compressors. I still use this in every single mix. Bass in the Jeep jump. No, we never smoke weed, but we G'd up. We turn water to wine. Jesus wanna tweet us. British like tweed in a teacup. You ain't quite fitting like G's in the D cup. Didn't let me in, so we went and got keys cut. So that's adding quite a lot of level to that vocal. I'm aware of that. And, you know, maybe I reduced that later on. In, in another plugin, that's just the way I did it on this day. But as you can see, that's doing quite a bit of gain reduction on the vocal. And this really just brings the vocal more to the forefront of the mix and more, much more consistent in level. So a very important part of the process. Without that, you can't really move on to anything else. After that, I've used the Waves de the old fashioned Waves de but still one of my favorite plugins. Bass in the Jeep jump. No, we never smoke weed, but we G'd up. We turn water to wine. Jesus wanna tweet us. British like tweed in a teacup. You ain't quite fitting like G's in the D cup. As you can see, just taking out some of the harsher sibilants. I often use two DS's and I do use two DS's on this mix, but that's usually the first one that I use in the chain. After that, we've got the REQ, which is another Waves plugin. Quite a classic one again. Make the bass in the Jeep jump. No, we never smoke weed, but we G'd up. We turn water to wine. Jesus wanna tweet us. British like tweed in a teacup. You ain't quite fitting like. Not doing a lot. Strangely boosting around here. This is a part where, I, this is a place where I don't usually boost, boost in vocals, sort of the low mids. But for this track, it must have worked. We move on now to the next DSR. This is the Muk DSP DSR and. This deesser is not very surgical. It kind of just reduces harshness all over of the vocals. So I'll show you with and without. In like G's in the D cup, didn't let me in, so we went and got keys cut. Tell the police, leave us alone. Feeling good like Nina Simone. Yeah, he's in the zone. All we need is Patron, get the waves. Now that is kind of doing too much, but you'll see why I do that in a second. So what I'm doing after that is I'm adding some high end brightness to the vocal and I like to do this you know it's nice to sometimes reduce the sibilance with the DS's get it sounding just on the border of lispy and and overdone and then after that use uh, an old vintage 
EQ like this or even an exciter to kind of bring that high end back up. So let's show you this with and without. No, we never smoked weed, but we G'd up. We turned water to wine. Jesus wanna tweet us. British like tweed in a teacup. You ain't quite fitting like G's in a D cup. Didn't let me in, so we went and got keys cut. Tell the pole. So as you can see, it's just adding in a lot of the sort of high end sizzle and brightness that we took out with the DS's, but leaving the, the S's kind of controlled. Next in line is a dynamic EQ. And all I'm doing with this, again, I'm boosting here at the high end but I'm also reducing at around 6K, which is probably where the sibilance is in Kama's voice here. No, we never smoke weed, but we G'd up. We turn water to wine. Jesus wanna tweet us. British like tweed in a teacup. You so you see it dipping there on his S's. And then I've done another little high-end shelf boost there too. And then after that, we're using the isotope ozone exciter to add in a little bit more high-end tape distortion on the end of here. Wave started from the city of the fox and the brave hearted. We don't shoot at the same target to the hate man. I'm Ray Charles. Now I'd say I'm more Stevie Wonder. Look at my girl, like, isn't she lovely? Rest my head on her tits, then I'm comfy. Look. So that's really sweetening up the vocal nicely. And that's literally it in terms of the main vocal sound. Now we're going to move on to delay and reverb that I used for this song. So I've got two buses here, bus 10 and 11, and bus 10 is the delay. It's kind of a ping pong stereo delay. Let me show you what that sounds like. I'm just gonna solo the vocal for this. No, we never smoke weed, but we G'd up. We turn water to wine. Jesus wanna tweet us. British like tweed in a teacup. You ain't quite fitting like G's in a D cup. Didn't let me in, so we went and got keys cut. Told the police. So for this, I'm using the Logic Stereo Delay on these settings. It's just creating a nice little stereo effect with the delay there. I'm EQing out some of the low mids and some of the low end for the delay, just so it doesn't muddy up the mix too much. And then I'm also dipping here after 5K, which is just to take out any kind of sibilance or high end detail in there that we don't really need in the delay. After that, I've added a reverb to the delay, which just helps to soften it and helps it not to stand out too much, Put sort of sets it back in the mix a little bit. No pre-delay on there. And we move on to the reverb, which is here on bus 11. And for that, we're using Space Designer. Man, I probably think, yeah, man, he's drunk. Oh shit, that's a speed bump. Watch out for the tree trunk. Make the bass in the Jeep jump. No, we never smoke weed, but we G'd up. We turn water to Wayne G's. Now using, using reverb on rap vocals is not something that I always do. And sometimes it, it doesn't help because it can kind of push the vocals back. But this song is quite empty. You know, the beat is, is quite minimal. And I just felt like it helped to fill up the space a little bit to have that delay in there. Sorry, to have the reverb in there. So I thought it worked. We've, after that, we've got Kama's doubles, which are pretty much the same treatment as the main. And Jesus wanna tweet us, British like tweed in a teacup. You ain't quite fitting like G's in the D cup. Make the only difference is on the end of the on the end of this, I've got PSP pseudo stereo, which is basically a sort of it creates sort of a fake stereo image on a mono track. So let me play you this in solo with and without. Cam dog, I'm the waviest, I put faith in her. Yeah, look. Cam dog, I'm the waviest, I So if I just exaggerate this for you, you'll see what it's doing. Yeah, I put faith in her. Yeah, look. Dean when I drive. Old beast in the ride. So it just adds stereo depth to a mono channel, basically. After that, we've got some ad libs here. Pretty basic treatment on these from what I remember. Lean. Screw, screw. So on these, all I've got is I'm using a high pass filter to take out some of the low end, just to kind of give them a sort of half radio effect. It's not a full radio effect, but it's a sort of half one there. And then I've got a quarter note delay. Wow. 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 Cam dog, I'm the waviest. I put faith in the atheist. Indeed. Cam dog, I'm the waviest. I put faith in her. Yeah, look. 
I shouldn't take codeine when I drive Make them think someone obese in the ride Need to wake up feeling like Jay Huss When I make the whip lean to the side Man I probably think, yeah man, he's drunk Oh shit, that's a speed bump Watch out for the tree trunk Make the bass in the jeep jump No, we never smoke weed, but we G'd up We turn water to wine, Jesus wanna tweet us British like tweed in a teacup You ain't quite fitting like G's in the D